Hello, this is Joshua from Gongs Unlimited with a, a real quick uh, tutorial video with uh, the welcoming stand and the warm embrace stand on how to hang a gong uh, within the stand. Um, this stand, which is a, a C stand, but it's a, a C stand with a, a spring in it, which um, uh, intentionally gives uh, a nice lift to the, the gong that you're hanging in the stand. Something as you play it to kind of spin sound out there um, without rigidity what is the point of the stand so that stand has a spring to it and um, an alignment with these hooks up here to the base here that um, isn't always exactly um, parallel or the same so I want to do a real quick tutorial on actually putting a gong in the stand um, I have I have this fantastic not released just done Sun Gong from Gongs Unlimited, which um, doesn't exist anywhere out there, but right here, um, but it is a 26 inch um, Chow style gong. And it comes with the gong rope as seen. And as I might place this in the stand, as it comes is, uh, too low to the stand. It uh, actually hits the bottom of the stand. Um, the rope's too long. But the cord just holds the gong and we can change that um, at will with a knot. And so I will take this off and simply shorten that rope. Shorten that cord of the gong um, from behind to pull in a little bit and tie a different knot so the rope's a little bit shorter. Um, the rope itself is just rope. It's not the gong. It's not precious. It's not sacred. Um, the gong has its sacred qualities, but the rope just holds that sacred quality. And we can tie, tie knots. We can cut. The rope is not a precious part of the gong. And so this rope being too long, I'm going to untie just one end and untie is just um, uh, push and pull until you get the knot that is out. And with that, I'm going to pull one side up so that's anchored. And the other side, if I just pull this over and hold tight, that's going to secure the gong. And securing the gong, um, and it's kind of like a, a cowboy roping something tied around the, the, the middle of a saddle. Um, as you loosen this, or someone that's ever like rock climbed and rappelled, um, when you loosen, the rope falls. When you pull tight, the rope stays steady. I'm gonna stay steady by holding the rope to this side of the gong. And put the gong in place. And I am holding that end of the rope up and the rope stays in place. Um, as I might loosen, it'll come down. So I pull up, it comes up. On a stand like this, you want to find a margin around the gong that's close to the same, but not perfect. It's never gonna be perfect. And I would always put a little more space um, down here than up here. So find, as I like release the belay on the, on the rope, a little bit of space here, a little bit of space here. Look at the space around here. Wow, that might look good. Hold that. And then with one hand, the hand that's not holding this rope, I'm going to pinch the actual rope in that very spot where the rope comes through this hole right here. And then I'm gonna lift up and still holding that one spot right here, I wanna pull the gong off the stand. And notice my finger is still pinched right in that spot. I'm going to tie a knot right where my fingers were holding that spot. And then pull tight 
and rehang the gong. Step back from the gong and make sure there's a, an adamant amount of the same margin, mostly from here to here. And there could be a little more space on the bottom. So I'm gonna pull this up, which means I should have a shorter cord and I'm just gonna push a little bit of rope through the knot to shorten it just a little bit and test again. And that almost looks good. That's the, the right height from here to here. I'll pull the gong off. And at this point, once you have that knot in the place where you want that knot to stop the gong, you can pull it tight and then just cut, cut the cord right here. The cord is not the gong. The cord is not sacred. The cord is not a part of the gong. It just hangs the gong. We can send you more cords if you need more cords. Cut it right there. Just, just cut it and feel good. Just cut it. Um, feel empowered. Empowered. Get a scissors and just cut the cord. Cut the cord of your fear of how sacred the gong is. Because the gong and the sound within the gong is in the gong, not in the cord. Cut the cord. Cut the cord and um, you might, um, as you cut it, use a lighter, use a flame, soften the, the edge. Um, but cut this. If you don't cut this, um, it might rattle on the backside. So do cut the cord. And once you have the right height determined, hang your gong in the welcoming stand or embrace stand, which, as I said, has a spring to it. It will bounce, which is part of its flow and its float through space as sound floats through space. In terms of level, you want to level the gong itself, which is these two points right here, not these points. These two points right here are your level points. So step down, put your eyes on, on these two points and move the gong this way or this way to level those two points. And you'll notice when I pull this way, the gong is closer to this side. And when I pull this way, the gong sits closer that way. You want to level it until it seems as center as you want it to be centered. But level to the gong is these two points right here. And level there, pull up and down. See the space, it will bounce up and down, but that is how to hang a gong on one of our beautiful floating, sound projecting, uh, welcoming stands and warm embrace stands. Thank you.